fair. Not, not a dirty stroke. You wanna see me, sir? Those guys are the fastest I've ever seen. What guys would those be, Mr. President? If you had ever watched a hurling match, Vincent, you'd know. I recommend you do. Might pick up some tips on close quarters combat. Noted, Mr. President. Vincent, I'm making an adjustment to the Irish visit, but it's strictly off the record. A project I'm working on. What kind of adjustment, Mr. President? Has this been cleared with security? I'm clearing it with you now. Our eyes only. Not even the First Lady. Wake up, Sleepy Mike. And the message? Activate Project Rainbow Eight. Are you serious, sir? I mean, Mr. President, I can't... Deadly serious. And I'll need 78 cans of draft Guinness sent to my quarters. A little trick I found on an Irish website called How to Prep for Your Wedding Night. Apparently, in Irish culture, if a man is not up drinking with his friends at three in the morning on his wedding night, well, it's frowned upon. Anyway, you count back from the big day. So in our case, twelve days until the Irish trip, and you drink one can on the first day, two on the second. You do the math. I'd say fifteen strong team minimum, four snipers. Just you and Mike will be fine. And Vincent, this mission is disposable track rounds only. No live rounds. That's an order. Sir, what can you possibly hope to... And now the headlines. With only 12 days left to the President's visit, preparations are being made by the Guardi to ensure a safe visit. Ma, will you get that? Ma, will you get that? All right, all right. Hello? Not the house phone, must be your special phone. Tango Whiskey Delta 108. Sir, yes sir. They're actually going to make you do something this time. That'll be nice. I think that went well. You must be tired. No, I'm fine. It's a great privilege for me to serve the people. Oh, me too. Me too. How'd you fancy a quiet one or two? My treat. Sounds great. But that volcano, we need to fly out in the next hour. That is just one pint. We could chat about my five-point plan. Why don't you send it to me? I'll pick it up on the Blackberry later. Oh, of course. Sure you can give me your email number later. Why don't you just tell your speechwriter you'll be back in a while, and we'll have a little snifter. I like to write my own speeches. Easier to remember. Oh, you're the right messer you are. Anyway, enjoy your trip. Oh, I will. What did you say? Nothing. What do you mean, I'm his only protection for the night? Just have him back here for 2 a.m. I haven't had an assignment since I was recruited, and now you want me to be the only guy minding the president for five hours, in tip... Why is he doing this? Have you kept up your training? Yes. You packing? Tranks only. Give him this. 100 euros. And these glasses, so he doesn't get recognized. Sure. And where will you be? I'll be out back in Marine One. You've never met Neil Diamond. You'd pure love him. I have bought his albums. I'm sure I would. And this tea is lovely. Strong taste. What sure is I that? threw in a drop of the strong stuff to warm you up cold night like this. I've no idea what that means, but You'll have thanks. some chips before you go out. Really, I'm not that hungry. We don't have time for chips, ma. I'm not dropping you in until you eat something. Okay, then. You're the boss. Ma, you can't be telling the president what to do. Are you going mad? My house, my rules. You should know that I'll by now. I'll get you a beer while you're waiting. And one for yourself. Sir, I need to stay sharp. That's a direct order. Damn, they're good chips. Can we go? I said we'd meet the lads at 9.30. I'll go out and warm up the car. Come out when you're ready. He's not usually this late. He said he's bringing out his pal from the States. Maybe he got caught up. Yes or no? I've had too much to drink. I'm not budging. Was she trying to pick you up, Ty? You're a fair man for the ladies, all right? Nah, she wanted someone to change her attire. 
She had nice blue eyes though, hadn't she? Yeah, yeah, one blue this way and one blue that way. <coughs> About time. We really lost Tiger for the second time tonight. Nice to meet you guys. Grab a table and I'll get the drinks in. Guys, I thought there was a recession on here. Yeah, there's a session on Tauruses and Saturdays. I see. So, you guys still got jobs? Yeah, but I'm on two weeks mental leave. Stress? Yeah. Uh, where do you work? Local video store. And you? drive through liquor store. Okay, and yourself? I'm an AI man. Oh, artificial intelligence programmer. No, artificial insemination, you know, for the cows. And I guess that was my lowest point. What about you, Tig? That's easy. When I was 16, I was sneaking back into my bedroom after a night's drinking. I'm not sure this story is true. It is. Anyway, I had to climb in the window, the top part, you know. I'd got my top half entirely in. My legs were dangling outside. I really don't think this happened. Now this took a lot out of me, so I decided to take a break. And your ma found you like that the following morning? Yeah, and I couldn't feel my legs. How did you explain that one away to your mom? I told her I may have an extremely rare and violent case of epilepsy. Are you trying to get yourself spotted? Lighting up an Ireland will get you a night in jail and a lot of questions. Mike, I think I'm being followed. Can we get out of here? Yeah, Donny. Can you pick us up at the stop in? Yeah, for now. Thanks, Donny. Donny, I called you 30 minutes ago. What the hell? Sure, I had to see the end of the film, didn't I? Come on, Nance. I have other trips besides yourselves. Hold up. What's the deal with that t-shirt? Do you like that? I designed that myself. Any cops looking in the window at me while I'm driving around town will think I'm wearing a sheet belt. Clever, huh? If I had a car, I'd buy one. Wait a minute. How many of you are there? Five. I can only take four, you know that. Ah, come on. We'll, we'll see you right. It's not worth it, lads. One you can go in the booth. That's the only way. That's fine. I'll do it. No, democracy must prevail. Let's draw straws. Not good, not good! Now there's smoke coming from your boot. Open up. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, uh, look at that when I get home. Are you trying to be funny? Have you been drinking? It's all good. I, I'm just Open trying to these lads. Are you who I think you are? Who do you think I am? Drive these lads, cab and all, back to the station and I'll catch up. I don't think there's enough room for everyone if I drive. Just throw one of them in the boot. I'll take you someplace safe until they figure this out. So don't talk to anyone and don't answer the door sure, to anyone. Who would I be talking to? He's as grumpy. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Sinead. Nice to meet you, Sinead. Are you? You make yourself comfortable and I'll get you a drink. Hi, Mandy. You busy? Believe we're back here for no reason. Guys, I need your help. Oh, that's your plan in a jailbreak. I doubt I can be much help to you. Well, I am actually. Correct me if I'm wrong, but would it not be easier to spend the night in jail since he said he'd leave us go in the morning? 
Sure, I didn't even know I'm here. What about my good friend from the States? That makes him your good friend too, and he's God knows where in God knows what kind of trouble. Can I count on you guys? I'm up for anything, me. Hey, Mike, whatever you need. But I'm very tipsy and very confused. What the hell are you doing with the... Thanks. Guard! There's a fella puking his guts up in here! Every bloody night. Where's the other guy live? Uh, address is in the roll decks on the desk. Thanks. Let's go! I'm telling you, it's him. There are a few more people coming. Then, I'm gonna rush him and whip off those glasses. And then, I'd like to see the girls top that for a party guest. So this is how you guys cope with a recession? Where is he? Under us on the Rolodex. Thanks. This is not good. Not good. Not good at all. Mike, why did you kidnap the president? Vince, what the hell are you talking about? He said he was being followed. Mike, make this right. Vincent, I have a plan. Yeah? Hi, I'm Barry's nephew. Who's Barry? My uncle. I knew you'd come, Mike, but I was in safe hands. Put this tracker and harness on, sir. I think we've enough people here. Time to reveal the true identity of our mystery guest. I give you... Time for some memory erasing. Sinead, uh, 